right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are spectating solos. Now, solos is a man's game. Solos the mode. You have to be really confident with yourself. Believe it in your own skills and ability because you're playing by yourself. That's why I don't play solos. So here we are spectating Anon, who came out of a nice gunfight with uh, this dude here. I don't know if I'll include the gulag. I was like mid eaten and, and I killed the guy who was crouch walking. Weird. But uh, here we are spectating on, sitting in a corner, just being confident, believing in himself, and just playing as aggressive as possible. Can look at this. Come on, man. Components. All right, we're pushing an enemy right now. We need to reposition in fights like this instead of re-challenging like this. Just push to the right hand side. There we go. Oh, I mean, you, I mean, eh. I said there we go, but okay. A lot of lessons out of this gunplay right here. We've got an enemy up to our left hand side as well in the building. So there are two enemies here, no doubt about it. So let's discuss. One, the guy we were spectating. You're in a gunfight and he's got you in this weird spot where you got a fence and no cover. You got a whole building to your right hand side. Just dip, go up the stairs, get elevation, get the high ground. That would, have, that would help them survive longer and get the kill on that enemy. Two, it would have helped them not die to the other guy that was in that building as well. But you saw him panic. You saw him struggle to activate his attack sprint while he's moving. You saw him struggle at making decisions while in the middle of a gunfight. Again, stay calm, cool, and collected. Make your decisive decisions. And yeah, just hit your buttons and activate auto attack sprint. You guys, if you're not going to use auto attack sprint in the settings, at least have a control that helps you activate it or a button on the back that helps you activate it so you can sprint instantly. If you're sitting there in a gunfight, you start slow walking to the right hand or side or the left hand side, you're going to get clapped, which leads you to my next topic. Guys, make sure you check out aim controllers. I've had all the controllers. I've played with all the controllers, and this one right here is the only one I will represent a rock with. Use code SAVAGE at checkout for a massive discount. And the great thing at the PlayStation one is the fact that it comes with active triggers. It goes from normal triggers to digital triggers, making it feel like a mouse click, meaning faster response time, less throw. Um, and it just, just honestly feels really good. Uh, but use code SAVAGE at checkout, guys. Links in the description below. And right now, they're doing a glow in the dark promotion on their website. So make sure you guys check that out as well. Glow in the dark skin, the controller, badass. Enemy on our left hand side. We hear him run right at the vehicle. Kind of ballsy. All right. It's also ballsy that we're challenging this fight on the low ground with no plates. The enemy, if he's paying attention, notices we got out of our vehicle because, again, the vehicle went from red to pan. But we're driving off anyways. The enemy failed to push on that one and really nothing against him. It would have been a long push. I'm not against it. But. The dude gotcha. It's real ballsy him to try to ego challenge that enemy with one plate. We don't know if he has plates in his inventory or not because, again, spectating glitches are just numerous. But if he does have them, pop them. If he doesn't have them, get the hell out of there. What are you doing, brother? All right, another red flag. Vehicles usually don't spawn in the middle of the street. Could be a glitch, who knows, but I'd usually be on a... That's a red flag for me. That would put me in high alert mode. We've got doors opened around us. See, what you want to do is not sit here in the middle of the open. Enemy to the right-hand side. We saw... There he is. Sniper. Oh, no. Fuck it. Hell yeah. Observation. One of the hardest things for players to develop, but you have to develop it. Uh, I don't really know how to help you guys do that without telling you guys to open your eyes. That's really the only tip that I have. It's just amazing me. We're sitting in this building staring in that direction. There's an enemy in the building next to us staring at that direction, and we're not fighting each other. We didn't see the enemy. The enemy didn't see our vehicle pull up to him. So there's a lot of red... F Thank God my camera's blocking y'all's vision because you would be having an aneurysm like I'm having an aneurysm. Dude was standing right in front of his face, and he just, he just sat there! Oh, shit! All of a sudden, we know! Oh, nice stem. There we go. That'll help. All right, gas is coming in. We got 40 seconds to figure this shit out real quick. Get the vehicle and dip. All right, thank God. Moving on. Tim attacked me and killed his ass. Not that difficult. I I I, I don't know what to say. I don't. Uh, 
observation I, I know like if there's a lot going on you're fighting with people a lot of trees and shit you don't see enemies fine but if they're sitting still like that and there's nothing else happening you're literally staring right at i don't i don't know why i don't know how i'm old right i'm not as good as i used to be when i was in my early 20s i'm old the shit now i'm like 980 so i got bad eyesight i can still see the shit i got telescopes in my eyeballs and i can still see the shit Holy fuck, I didn't realize this thing could do that. I think just rock climbing machine. What? Is he using an engine owning vehicle? Get an enemy on the down slope from us. We could try to challenge this enemy, but instead we're going to sit inside and just do this. Challenge him or don't challenge him. Regardless, sitting in a building like this, just waiting for the enemy to come to you is kind of wild. Precision coming in, so I, I, I respect the corner camping for that. You know, if Precision's getting on the building, you never know what's going to land. You never know it's going to down you or not. So I don't mind sitting in the corner. Shit, some, from time to time, I'll get on something and be like, fuck, am I about to die? Again, too, you want to avoid breaking windows if you can when you're in areas like this. We have enough money for a buy. It's a spectating glitch, all right? He, I know, on our screen, he is shit. He didn't shoot him at all. But they tell us on his screen he did. So just just bear that in mind. He probably beamed him. We just we just didn't get to see that. Definitely debatable too. Oh shit, look at the UAV. Throw it up! Another glitch, we can't see what's on the UAV. He can see things we can't. Hey bro, I'm an airstrike over oh, there. No. oh no! Oh no! Oh, I thought about that. Oh, I thought he was about to off himself. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, you're living dangerous, my guy. Holy shit. Your boy is living dangerously. All right, that's a that's a fire execution. Seeing, seeing Tim do a front flip. There's a guy on top of the... Yeah, right there staring at you. You saw him. There you go. There you go. Seeing Tim do a, a front flip was definitely inspiring. No shots, Tim, no shots. Again, we're just seeing a lot of players miss out on opportunities for some nice, easy kills. Thankfully, Shaq was able to see him at the last second, but again, we had multiple opportunities. We could have just beamed him when he had no cover to see him at all. All right, so the guy you're pushing now just got precision by somebody else so there's a chance we could be the ones getting third party here so saying that i like that we slowed it down to play the situation unfortunately uh the enemy just had way better aim than we did there's really not you can't really teach aim you have to you have to put the reps in to get better aim there's no tricks gonna help you guys aim assist or not guys it's just all about getting reps in all got it about getting practice and damn dude all about the glitches look at this shit yeah i'm mad for you scoped i know bro i know i know I know, I know. Multi billion dollar company. I know, bro. I get it. I get it. I'm. You dropped yourself, Rose. I'm pissed off too. Okay, now, physics. Come on, man. Would that be a physics thing? Fitting through a small ass window. All right. He clearly had no headphones on, or he had a double ear infection. One of the two. Um. the reverse revenge i love that shit going back to our boy shack i love it savage how do you know it's shack well i mean it says it right there and again tim skin he's came back for his shit so what no i want my boy shack shit wait that came out wrong i want to go spectate my dude shack shit why did it spawn me on the opposite side of the map look even if sean even if a uh, jailbreak happened and i wanted to play why would you put me over here put me back over here man I hate jailbreak. I hate it. We see gunfire and the distance. It's another thing too. I always tell you guys, if you're, if you're spawning back in for regain or whatever, if you're in the sky, you want to look around you. So many people are like, they miss out. They're looking for little dots running around. But what you need to look for is, you know, well, not that, but like parachutes, smokes, tracers, things like that. 
I'm trying to find your boy, Mr. Shaquille O. Fucking Neil. Boom. <laughs> That's not Shaquille O'Neal. Fuck. In all hindsight, I probably should have killed him from the get go. It's unfortunate. I'd rather spectate Shaq. I don't feel so good about Pete. I'm assuming one to kill it and probably his first. If he's got two, then Shaq's probably dead anyway. Here's the hoping boys. Six kills from the auto walking fucking master of the world. Look at this. All right, all jokes aside, spectating Pete now, dude. Very observant, keeping awareness around him. Again, we're going to an area with a buy station on the edge of the zone, so I expect a lot of hostile gatekeeping situations. We have $24,000. We have smoke grenades, so my objective right now would be to stop fucking looting. Get to the buy. Throw the smokes. Buy what I need. And then figure out a game plan. If you have a UAV, if you go to the, the buy station, you buy a UAV quickly with smoke surrounding you. Throw the UAV up, see what's around you. You can buy a second one. You can buy whatever the hell else you want. A durable gas mask, self res the list is endless. And then you can make a gameplay based off the intel that the UAV gives you. Guy in this building, they hear him. Even run in my mouth, I can hear him. He jumped out the window. He's back inside. The hesitation on that, on that shot. Bruh, he just watched him for like a good solid second and a half. Crazy, 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 crazy. And we're rocking an STB and Costa. What the? F we're rocking two assault. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. We're rocking two assault rifles, you psycho. Guys, try your best to never use two of the same ammunition type weapons. Granted, I mean, he doesn't look like the most aggressive player, so he's not gonna go through a lot of ammo, but it's not really a good play. There's more footsteps on us, by the way. The guy that landed by this building, he might have jumped off the top, but this was not the guy we heard originally. I still hear footsteps inside. I don't know if he does or not. I think he does because he's looking around. Crouch walking, love this. The fear puts people in corners, guys. You got to stop that. You gotta stop that. For instance, that, that thing busts, right? That bouncing Betty went off. The enemy probably is gonna look this direction, meaning we can jump out the window, come up from the door under us, maybe sneak up on the enemy. So many options you can do to work this building instead of just going down the staircase that the enemy's probably expecting you from. Not to mention the enemy's rotating. I hear him on the outside, left-hand side, or this side. There he is. Hey, surprise, guys. Use the audio tuned by my dude, Art. Look, man, I'm, it, it, audio is everything. Dude, I felt like I was, I was like, man, I, I've lost my touch. I'm a bot, dude. Because in Warzone 1, you know, audio was ass, but it was a lot better than it is in this game. And I was able to drop 20s and 30s and just uh, light it up. And in this game here, I'm struggling. I'm like, I can play position and I can win games, but dropping high kill games is just not possible. I can't hear shit. The moment I got my shit turned, it, the audio allowed me to develop outplaying scenarios based on what I hear. Right? When you have more senses available to you, you become a better player. Now, for console players, again, it, it's ass. It's not our fault. It's not my fault. It's Activision's fault. Y'all keep buying their skins. They're not gonna they're not gonna fucking fix anything. I'll just let y'all know right now. You can bitch all day. They ain't fixing it, they ain't making money. Power's in your hands, but smoke it out. Smoke it out, man! You never, ever, ever, ever go to a buy without popping a smoke. There could be a sniper, there could be somebody camping it, just watching, you can't see them. It's just psychotic. What are we doing? Are you not gonna buy another UAV? He said, fuck that. Steve-o! Come on, brother. Now I'm not surprised your last dude died. Again, with the weapons that he had, he wasn't really destined to win anyway. Not using the meta anything, which isn't bad, but then using two of the same ammunition guns and using the AUG? Ugh. STB's garbage. A savage. No, it sucks. Stop using it. So many better weapons, guys. So many better weapons. I mean, use what you have fun with, but it ain't fun dying. I'll tell you that much. 
All right, look at this zone. Where would you like to go? Well, I mean, look, I'd want to play the game in the high ground. It's going to rotate away from us, but still playing the high ground puts you in a decent spot. I would play the edge of the gas more towards the actual stronghold and then work towards that loadout area. Maintaining the edge of the gas, the edge of the red and playing that high ground all the way down the next level puts you in a spot to where if we go to the loadout right now, then strongholds the higher ground. If there's enemies there, which there probably are, they'll shoot down on us and fuck us up. So situations like these is when I kind of would slow it down. Now you don't have to go that way. You could go anywhere you want, but this circle kind of doesn't favor anything. Doesn't doesn't favor the city because it could rotate to the left-hand side and away from it. Doesn't favor the hill, could rotate to the south. There's really not a great spot to go to off the intel we have right now. The next zone will really tell me exactly where I want to be. You're that being done. said, this is the dumbest place we can sit here and look for enemies. We better hope while we're looking, we don't see anybody because we'll get fucked up. Still looting. Eh, you know, don't do this. Again, look at that higher ground. Look how beautiful it is. And yes, the circle will pull from that, but you can parachute, which I don't know if I'd recommend. You could rotate down. Yeah, this is going to be a shitty ending nonetheless. You don't really have good buildings based on this. You have the gas station and some small buildings. I don't believe there's any two-story or taller buildings in this zone. There's really not any good positions in this zone, to be honest. I think, again, I would, in this situation, play slow, play the edge, try my best to maintain cover and concealment. I just, I don't care what you're finding right now. This is not what I'd be doing, bro. We have nine enemies left. We need to start, again, gathering intel. We don't know where to go, but we see an enemy over there fighting or over to our right hand fighting, and we don't want to fight them. At least now we know they're there. We can find another route to avoid them. Glass breaks. Oh, oh, look at the parachute. This is why I said I wasn't a big fan of parachuting. It's so easy to beam people up the sky, especially that low to altitude. He could have just jumped down to the next spot. Now, keep in mind, we made a lot of noise. People will be looking this direction. I would be smoking myself out and getting to these buildings and expect people to be in these buildings. Fully, don't break the windows either. Just like the last guy did, learn from his mistake. What are you sloping it for? What, there's a guy staring at you! The amount of looting a lot of you guys do is just, it's too much. Again, you got other things way more important than looting to be doing right now, like killing the last five enemies. But strangely enough, they're not looking around either. We have a self-res, we have a jury, we have plates, we have precisions, we have everything we need. I don't know what we're looking for. And he might be like, Savage, he's finding so many streaks. That's cool. But again, not gathering intel. I'm willing to bet steve going to lose this game because of his determination to loot. You're he might home. not. Bring home the win. But again, look at this position right now. We need to start thinking about how we're going to push these guys, how we're going to get in a better spot. And to be fair, I think I'd rather go to the left-hand side than these buildings. If we can work this ridge, we could possibly be in a decent spot. But we're going to play the edge. We're going to... I don't know what, what we're doing. Just spamming streaks on the enemies. They're not going to get killed from these. Your streaks are a better suppression than they are a, a killer in this situation here. Weird. We died. Now, look, again, you have two options. Push to the left-hand side where the terrain is at, or you can push the buildings where you know multiple enemies are already be placed up. And that's fine if you want to push buildings. Use smokes and go sooner than that. And again, playing the terrain. Now, this is just purely luck. I can't say playing terrain would favor them, but it did favor them. Look at Bullseye. Instead of doing what the last guy did, he's pre-rotating. He's getting to the next zone. He's utilizing his dirty to his advantage, and now he's got a decent position. Now, pay attention to who's shooting at him. To your left. There you go. Rotation, positioning, gathering intel is way more important than looting when it comes to end game. I bitched about it the entire time we spectated him and he died because of it. And then we flip flop and reverse it. And now look where we're at. Wait, did he not get the execution on that guy? He's down and everything. We didn't kill him. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a big mistake. 
You might still kill him, but you do not let him live. Oh no. Smoke out. That did not just happen. That did not just fucking happen, bro. Guys, lesson number one, always, when it's a 1v1, execute the enemy. You have an LMG. It's got a billion round magazine. You threw. Stop throwing games. Everyone we spectated threw. Stop it. Guys, lock it in, play smart, use your mind and your skill, and you win the game. It's like playing chess, guys. But y'all have a good one. Good luck out there. If you, again, if you have any homies that play like this when you're playing duos, trios, or quads, send them these videos, send them the channel. But y'all have a good one. Until next time, good luck in Warzone.